Hello, my name is Carly Rundle, and I am a PhD student working with Dr. Hans Stein. Today, I will be discussing research conducted at the University of Illinois investigating the effects of isoquinoline alkaloid supplementation to corn soybean meal diets on nutrient digestibility and plasma characteristics of growing and finishing pigs. I will start this presentation by giving a brief background as to what isoquinoline alkaloids are and what they do, and then I will go over the materials and methods of this experiment, followed by results and conclusions from this research. Subtherapeutic usage of antibiotics in livestock production has led to increasing consumer concerns over antibiotic resistance, and as such, restrictions and regulations have been put into place to limit the use of these AGPs. As a result, there is a need to investigate alternatives to AGPs to promote health and maximize growth efficiency of production animals. Isoquinoline alkaloids, or IQ as I will refer to them in this presentation, are phytogenic compounds that contain nitrogen. The alkaloids specific to this mixture include sanguinarine, chelerithrine, elocryptopene, and protopene, and are derived from the plume poppy shown in the image to the right of this slide. When fed to animals, IQ have also been shown to improve growth performance of broilers, layers, growing pigs, and beef cattle, including increases in average daily gain as well as a reduction in average daily feed intake and subsequent improvement in the gain-to-feed ratio. IQ have been found to have antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory, and immunomodulatory properties, including inhibiting gram-positive and gram-negative bacterial cell division, inhibition of NF-kappa B resulting in a decrease in cytokine production, and a reduction in neutrophil viability. IQ have also been shown to reduce intestinal inflammation and improve barrier function through a reduction in cytokine production and an increase in tight junction proteins ZO1 and Cloudin1. Because of this, it is thought that these mechanisms of action of IQ may lead to increased digestibility and absorption of nutrients. It has been observed that IQ increases the digestibility of nutrients, including amino acids and crude protein, and previous research conducted at the University of Illinois has revealed an increase in the apparent ileal digestibility of amino acids and starch by young growing pigs fed corn soybean meal diets. Therefore, it was the hypothesis of this trial that IQ would increase the apparent ileal digestibility, or AID, of amino acids, crude protein, starch, and acid hydrolyzed ether extract, and the apparent total tract digestibility, or ATTD, of crude protein and gross energy when fed to finishing pigs. We began the experiment with four corn soybean meal diets, one control diet with no IQ, one 40 mg per kilogram IQ, one with 80 mg per kilogram, and one with 160 mg per kilogram IQ. We then allotted these diets to 12 pigs with an average initial body weight of around 77.2 kilograms. This experiment was designed as a triplicated 3x4 incomplete Latin square with three replicate pigs per diet per period and three experimental periods. Each period consisted of 14 days with a 10-day adaptation period to the treatments, fecal collection on days 11 and 12, and ileal collection on days 13 and 14. On the last day of each period, a blood sample was collected from each pig. And now I will move on to present the data from this experiment. Setting up the graphs, we have the nutrient on the x-axis and the AID on the y-axis in percent. Blue bars represent the control diets, orange bars represent the 40 mg per kilogram diet, brown bars represent 80 mg per kilogram, and the gray bars represent 160 mg per kilogram. There was an increase in the apparent ileal digestibility of crude protein with the greatest digestibility observed in the 80 mg per kilogram treatment. However, digestibility of total amino acids and starch was reduced at the 160 mg per kilogram treatment. Overall, there was no influence of IQ on the AID of acid hydrolyzed ether extract. Looking at specific digestibility of amino acids, there was an increase in the apparent ileal digestibility of histidine, methionine, and proline, with the greatest digestibility in the 40 mg per kilogram IQ diet. A tendency for a reduction in the AID of isoleucine, leucine, lysine, and threonine was observed in the 160 mg per kilogram IQ treatment, 
which is in agreement with the reduction in the AID of total amino acids mentioned on the previous graph. There was no influence of IQ on the apparent total tract digestibility of gross energy. However, we did observe an increase in the ATTD of crude protein in the 80 mg per kilogram treatment compared to the control treatment. IQ did not affect the plasma urea nitrogen of pigs fed corn soybean meal diets. However, we did observe a decrease in albumin in the 40 mg per kilogram IQ treatment and a tendency for a decrease in total protein at 40 and 80 mg per kilogram IQ, and an increase at 160 mg per kilogram. There was a tendency for a reduction in the concentrations of arginine and tryptophan in the plasma of pigs when IQ was supplemented, with the lowest concentration of amino acids in the 160 mg per kilogram diet, which is in agreement with the finding that the AID of amino acids was also lower in this treatment. However, there was no difference in the plasma concentrations of histidine, lysine, methionine, phenylalanine, or valine. There was also a tendency for a decrease in the plasma concentrations of alanine and proline at the highest IQ concentration, which is again in agreement with the findings that the AID of nutrients was reduced at 160 mg per kilogram. But there was no difference in the plasma concentrations of serine and tyrosine, or other dispensable amino acids when IQ was supplemented. We then replicated this experiment using growing pigs with an initial body weight of around 25 kilograms. The treatments were kept the same, and the diets only differed in concentrations of corn and soybean meal in order to accommodate the different amino acid requirements of growing pigs compared to finishing pigs. We did not observe any differences in the apparent ileal digestibility of crude protein or starch as IQ was added to the diets for growing pigs. However, we did observe an increase in the AID of total amino acids at 40 mg per kilogram IQ compared to the control diet and a decrease in the AID of acid hydrolyzed ether extract as IQ was added at either 80 or 160 mg per kilogram. Specifically looking at individual amino acids, there was an increase in the AID of arginine, lysine, methionine, threonine, and valine, with the greatest digestibility in the 40 mg per kilogram IQ diet, which is in agreement with the AID of total amino acids increasing in the 40 mg per kilogram treatment. Looking at the apparent total tract digestibility of nutrients, IQ did not influence the digestibility of crude protein or gross energy in growing pigs, which is in contrast to the finishing pigs, in which we observed an increase in the ATTD of crude protein as IQ was included. There was no influence of IQ on the plasma urea nitrogen, albumin, or total protein of growing pigs. However, IQ did influence the plasma amino acid concentrations of the growing pigs. There was an increase in the concentration of arginine, histidine, and lysine, and a tendency for an increase in the concentrations of alanine and serine in the 80 mg per kilogram IQ diet indicating that amino acid absorption was highest in the pigs fed that treatment. From these experiments, we observed that the greatest digestibility values were in the 40 or 80 mg per kilogram IQ treatments. Therefore, we can infer that IQ increases the AID of crude protein and amino acids and the ATTD of crude protein in growing and finishing pigs. Combined with previous work conducted in our laboratory, we have concluded that isoquinoline alkaloids increase digestibility of nutrients in the nursery, growing, and finishing phases of production. Therefore, future research will focus on the effects of IQ on the intestinal function, intestinal health, and immune parameters of growing pigs. Thank you very much for listening to my presentation on isoquinoline alkaloid usage in diets for growing pigs. If you have any questions about this work specifically, I can be reached at rundel2 at illinois.edu. And if you'd like to know more about the research conducted in the Hans H. Stein Monogastric Nutrition Laboratory, please check out nutrition.ansi.illinois.edu.